Hello, kia ora. G'day, I'm Philip Duncan from Weather Watch TV on YouTube with a special update on severe tropical cyclone Alfred. Let's have a look and see where it is currently positioned. It's off the east coast of Australia, out smack bang in the middle of the Coral Sea. It went up to Category 4 overnight last night. It's dropped back to Category 3 again today, and it's still severe at that level. It's supposed to stay there for the next couple of days. It is tracking southwards, which means it's getting closer to Australia, and some computer modelling, including the Bureau of Meteorology, suggests it's going to be guided a little closer to Australia, but it then may move back out to sea again. Here is the current tracking from the Bureau of Meteorology, Category 3. You can't see the number behind it, which says 4, which is where it was overnight. So it's back to 3. It's still a severe storm for the next couple of days. It might weaken back to a Category 2, but to be honest with you, not a huge difference between a low-end Category 3 and a high-end Category 2. But it does show you that the high-pressure zones to the south here are going to influence this storm as it tries to move southwards. The high pressure zones to the south are going to be making quite a big difference to the future path. I'll talk about that in a moment. Here is the current setup though as we take a look at lunchtime today in Queensland. Uh, here is the cyclone, 950 hectopascals in the middle there, right off the coastline. So it is quite powerful, especially with all this rain which is on the southwestern quadrant in this corner here, which means the closer it comes in, the more likely that wind and rain has a chance of moving into Australia itself. But for now, it is remaining offshore. So let's try and make sense of what is going on, the controlling features of this cyclone, because sometimes you have a cyclone that goes from A to B to C in a straight line, it's very easy to forecast. This one's not the same because of the high pressure zones to the south. So I'm going to show you this quick animation, it's a 72 hour, 72 hour animation and it just goes back and forth, showing you the high pressure zone around New Zealand and the next one coming in to the south. So if this is a pinball machine, here is the ball trying to drop southwards and these two high pressure zones are like the levers at the bottom bouncing up and down. So every time that next high rolls back in, as it does over the weekend, this high pressure system comes in here, that will help guide the low to the north, as will the high pressure zone over New Zealand at the moment. So that is why this is complicated. If there's a gap between the highs, just like a pinball machine, the ball can drop southwards. If these highs are around and expanding out a little bit and changing shape, that affects the dance of that tropical cyclone, where it is going to be moving. So let's try and make sense of where it's going to be moving. Here is the American modeling, followed by the European modeling. They're the world's two most trusted global forecasts. They aren't too dissimilar to the Bureau of Meteorology out of Australia and um, the Jap Japan Meteorological Agency. So you get a lot of similar modeling, but these are the two that we trust the most. It's easiest for global tracking. So here is the American modeling. This is for seven days ahead, and you'll notice it moves close to Australia, and then it starts to go back up northwards again. I suggest if you found that fast, just hit backwards on the video and watch it again. But basically that low pressure zone is sort of hovering around the central part of the Coral Sea thanks to that next high pressure zone coming down around the southeastern side of Australia. Let's compare that now with the European modeling. We'll click uh, play. This is for the next seven days ahead. Very similar tracking. To the American modeling, almost identical to it. So see how it comes down, gets very close to Australia, then it moves back there out to sea. So a lot of moving parts with this tropical storm at the moment. Hopefully it's going to remain out at sea, but it will brush Australia this weekend. And you never know, this big easterly uh, breeze, this easterly wind on the top end, on the northern end of the high pressure zone around New Zealand, that may guide it even closer to Australia. But at the same time, if Alfred moves into it too quickly, then that high pressure zone can tear it apart. So I'm sorry this is complicated. I can't just say what is going to happen. I can't just give you the, the answer or the answer. Uh, we have to monitor it a little bit closer for the next few days. Keep up to date this weekend with the Bureau of Meteorology out of Australia. They'll be providing much more localized updates for you and those warnings and watches uh, should they be uh, issued. And we'll be back again on Monday where we will try to take a closer look and see where it's going to go as we go into the month of March. Thanks for all your comments and support this week. Have a great weekend. We'll see you again soon.